I hear ladies say, men are dogs. I beg of you. If you want to call men dogs, mention the name of the man. We are not all dogs. What is the attribute of a dog? If you call it, that means say the man they sleep around with ladies in the environment, Abi, for the compound. Somebody like me, I'm not a dog. I'm a cat. <laughs> I don't sleep around. I they go far. <laughs> then I would dig around, do my thing, cover around, come back home with joy, and meet my family. All the cats in the house, put your eyes together for yourself. Some men, they are cow. How do you know a man that is a cow? You can never know the particular girlfriend of a cow. They are always working together. If your husband is always going around with his best friend, he's a cow. Some men are elephants. How do you know a man that is an elephant? When you see father elephant, you see mother elephant, and then you see the children. If you are always going around with your kids and your wife, you are an elephant. All the elephants in the house, put your Instagram for yourself. If you are here with your full family, oh, nobody there. Some men, they are rats. When the rat is alive, you can never see the children of rats. Now only the mother or father, they run around. Let the father rat die. Then children will now be surfacing everywhere. That is when some men die. You just see, you won't post sand for your papa. And that person go, you are, no, 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 I'm the firstborn. I was in law culture before. <laughs> My mother is Julie, go and check the will. <laughs> some men, they are hawk. If your husband is going around with small, small children, what is that tribute for? Of an hawk? Uh, uh, Mr. Shew, hawk. No, no, you are not. You are with your wife, right? Uh, you, are, you can never be hawk. You can never be hawk. Your animal is lion. Yes, you are a lion. Madam, your husband is a lion. What is the attribute of a lion? They don't allow male to, uh, to come close to their territory. But they go outside to shoot gun. So, sir, you are a lion. All the lions put your Instagram for yourself. The animal I ate most, now vulture. If you are a man here, you carry older women. What is the attribute of a vulture? They feed on dead or almost dead animals. <laughs> so if you're a man, you are in love with 1765, you're a vulture. Then some, they are baboons. If you are here, you beat your wife, you're a gorilla. <laughs> Do you have any gorilla in the house and you are proud of yourself? Any gorilla? They're talking about cheating. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate it when you want to cheat on your wife. Men, listen to this. You want to cheat on your wife and you're cheating on your wife with a very beautiful, tall, fair lady. Anytime your wife just see you with the lady, she will fight. Men, listen. If you want to cheat, cheat on ladies that your when your wife should just see you, she will pity the person. Yes, if you want to cheat, cheat with cripple. Deaf and dumb. Your wife will just bust, enter the room. They are in room five. Boom! See which chair. Say, what are you doing? You can stand up and say, empowerment. Respect. I mean, you said, Respect your bring, bring it down. You say, I'm happy now. It's good. So all of now, just get deaf and dumb. She won't tell anybody about the relationship. Even if you should tell people, people will never believe you can descend to that <laughs> level. Yeah, now only you know it, they give you joy. But the only problem with getting deaf and dumb is the ringtone. Hey, people are making love. Then the problem is this. The next day, you are done with your wife. Then you'll be going. The sun will not come. Your girl will call you for office. Where is the document I asked you to sign? You just here for your... Only you just say your girl. Your girl say what happened to you? But people wear pretty pass. Now people wear they date short girls. I'm sorry. Yes. I can't date short girls. I can date deaf and dumb cripple. For short girls. You and your babe go go party. They go to have your, your babe bobo. Or caprizo. You go one in touch and they say, hey, take your, take your daughter to children's chapel. Ah. I mean, when I go into public and they say, are you laughing now? Huh? Now you go and say that, that's my wife, don't disrespect her. Don't disrespect my wife. 
The most annoying part is it when you are dating a short girl and you break up with her. Anytime you see children of her height, you remember. You just walk and say, oh, oh this is Julie's size. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before I leave, there's one thing I hate. They say, eh, home, they break, people, they fight. You don't know why. You don't tell your partner your bad sleeping habit. Nigerians, we can keep it. You don't see some people, they open eyes sleep. No, you don't, you don't see people where they sleep like that. Where go like this? Then you go just do like this. They say, don't sleep. Say not like that, they sleep. That one is better. Imagine you they sleep for night. You just look your side. Your husband can't be like this. <laughs> Only you say, am I married to a witch? <laughs> Another sleeping habit I hate is sleep talk. You know, see some people they talk for dream. You never sleep near person. As you they sleep, they say, oh. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Nonsense. And the most annoying part, people when they talk for dream, if you they try to correct them, now what you they talk for real life, they go they answer you. Say, stand up now. Say, huh? Why are you telling me to stand up? Is it, is it your sleep? Are you mad? Nonsense. Another sleeping habit I hate. How many of them don't sleep near people when they sleep like this? Oh. Now for night you just say, yeah. <laughs> Percy, don't break up before of that too. I know that sleeping habit I love. Now sleep work. Why we're growing up? Majority of us we did that now. You go sleep outside. Your mama go wake you. Hey, stand up, enter. If you are not careful, now main road. You just stand up. Uh, now mama go say, hola, hola, hola. And like that we find our last week. Oh, I know that sleeping habit I hate. And I love it because uh, I belong to that category. It's snoring. When you snore, the Lord has blessed you. It, it was even written in the Bible. You shall have a sound sleep. Uncle, please tell us a story. That's what I'm saying. If you they snore, you know they make thief call your house. Especially when you snore and your wife they join you. As a man, you don't sleep go. Buckler don't do your window. You're... <laughs> As you want pause, your wife will just become. <gasps> the burger says they are discussing, they are not, they are not sleeping. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. My name is Dr. Smile. I want to specially recognize the presence of Talkative. He helped my career 14 years ago. You might not know this. Thank you so much, boss. God bless you. God bless you, Abuja. Let's get it on. <laughs> Help me, they share the video, they comment, they like. Thank you. Pencil, comedian, say so.